Hi, my name is Jennifer Berman, and I am one of the teachers participating in the grant-funded tech pilot here at CJHS. Each student in my tech pilot course has a netbook that they bring to class on a daily basis. Um, I email the students their lessons for the upcoming day. We utilize Google Docs to create spreadsheets spreadsheet, excuse me, and documents and Faxit Reader to highlight and write on journals and science articles. In addition, I utilize Moodle for blogging with the students. Through PTA grants, I have acquired a digital projector and a digital microscope, which I use to show student work and look at microscope slides with the class. My students have learned how to navigate and use Google Docs, and so have I. Um, this has been a great tool. All the student assignments are turned in and passed back via Google Docs. Um, thus, I can check their work anywhere, and I do not have to bring home stacks of papers. Um, in my tech pilot course, we stream on the web um, each, each lesson that is covered in class. Thus, absent students can access our classroom from anywhere. For instance, I had a student who was in the hospital visiting her brother, and she watched and listened to the class lesson and was able to participate in our discussion by chatting with students in the class at the same time. Um, it's easy to obtain information. Instead of finding it out later, we can literally look up inst information instantaneously. I am already thinking of implementing new assignments and lessons for the upcoming trimester. For instance, I want to Skype with students in other countries who are studying similar topics. I also want to have my students Skype with individuals who have careers in science. Um, second, I want to blog more with my students on topics discussed in class to get a sense of what they are confused about in a particular lesson. Third, I want to have the kids start reading online science articles. There is so much information on the internet, and we can look at credibility of websites and, of course, see the cutting-edge developments that are going on in science and technology. This last point will also help fulfill the new CCS reading and writing goals. I think that if we prepare our students for the 21st century, we need to have access to this technology.